What's up guys? Welcome back to my little super only shop here in Northern California. This video is going to be a little update video where I walk you guys through what I've been up to these last few months, what the status is for that 1998 RSTI swap, and I'm going to give you guys a little bit more context for my latest instructional DIY video where I talk about coolant flow and that reverse cooling mod. Thanks so much for checking out the video guys. My name's Luke. This is a super only show. my little Subaru only shop. It's a DIY Subaru channel. It's a channel where all I do is Subaru builds and race Subaru vehicles and motorsport events. It's a DIY themed channel where I walk you guys through the steps to get your Subarus back on the road and hopefully do a little racing of your own. So thanks for checking out the video guys. I really appreciate it. Okay guys, so first of all, what the hell have I been up to the last few months? And why the hell haven't I posted any videos? Well, it's actually been two things. The first thing is I got a new job and I started working for a new company. And as a lot of you guys might know, anytime you go work for a new company, you end up putting a lot more hours in and it just ends up taking a hell of a lot more of your time. I'm also gonna need you to go ahead and come in on Sunday too, okay? So that new period has ended. I've settled into my job with that new company and I have a little bit more free time to dive into my biggest passion, which is Subaru engines, Subaru motorsports, and making these DIY videos for all you guys out there. And the second big thing I've been involved in is I've actually been building a little guest house in my backyard for one of my relatives. Over the last few months, I basically installed all the insulation, all the drywall, all the framing for all the walls on the inside, a lot of the rough electrical, a lot of the rough plumbing. I've installed a bathroom, I've installed a kitchen, I've actually installed sewer systems, I brought water lines to the property, I dug trenches, and I had an electrician bring in electricity to the property. I've done all kinds of things. I basically turned this little 200 square foot backyard utility storage building that we had into a 200 square foot little tiny house. But that sucker is actually done now. My relative actually moved in last weekend and now I have a lot more free time to dive into making these videos again. Okay, and the third thing I wanna to touch base on was giving you guys a little bit more context for my latest DIY instructional video that I just posted the other day. That video is part one in a deep dive into coolant flow through Subaru engines and I take a closer look at the reverse cooling mod kits that are currently on the market. So just to let you guys know, that ended up being a major endeavor and there was so much information packed into the video that ended up being almost a full hour long in length after all my editing and all the final cutting that was done and I realized this is just way too much information so I've split it up into three or four parts. And what I put out the other day was just part one where we talk about how coolant flows through the short block of these engines. Part two is where we're gonna talk about how coolant flows through the heads of these engines. And I do a deep dive into how coolant flows through these heads and I actually shine a light into all the little ports so you guys can see all the little cavities and little casting where all the coolant flows behind the combustion chambers. And then I take an even deeper dive where I make something called a flow net or a flow field where I try to take a look at where the, all the flow paths are for the coolant that's flowing through this head. And I think it ends up being a nice little illustration for how those coolant flow paths develop inside these heads and why you might actually get preferential flow paths that cool the number two cylinder more than the number four cylinder. And that's pretty much the whole reason that these reverse cooling mods are on the market. They're basically addressing that issue and trying to bring more coolant over to that number four cylinder. That way you have more even cooling for all four cylinders and you can avoid that ringland damage that's really common on that number four piston. No, God, please, no, 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 no! And then after we've walked through the coolant flow through the short block and through the heads and why you might need the reverse cooling mod, I actually compare two of the more commonly available reverse cooling mod kits that are on the market. And that is the VEMS tuning kit and the Get a Dom tuned kit. Both those kits are available for around $90. I had purchased both of them and I actually do a full comparison of both the kits. And then to wrap up the series, I actually install the Get a Dom tune kit on this short block without the intake manifold and without all the other obstructions that you'd have in the engine compartment, that way you guys can see exactly how these reverse cooling mod kits are installed on these engines. And another thing I'll let you guys know is that I actually did a little bit of research into all the different sensors you can get. There's like thermo sensors and thermo resistor sensors for fluids and for surface temperatures for these engines. That way I can actually start monitoring the temperatures in these engines and I can start doing some real world testing and actually show you guys the results in these YouTube videos. So I hope you guys will stay tuned. There's going to be a lot more cool stuff to come. This EJ205 engine build is definitely going to be wrapping up in the next few videos. And then we're going to throw it into that 1998 RSTI coupe. And we're going to go ahead and start testing and tuning and moving on to the next step. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions or any comments, please go ahead and leave them in the comment section. If you think this video would be good for any of your friends in the Subaru community, please go ahead and copy the link and share it with your friends. Thanks so much for watching, guys. My name's Luke. This is the Subaru Only Show. Until next time, guys. Later. Thank <laughs> you.